Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're reviewing the Sugar Rush collection from Buff Bunny. This is their upcoming launch on May 14th at 1 p.m. CST. This is their second like very active wear focused launch of the year. There was kind of like a restock last time, Swim. And it's also their second athlete collaboration of the year. This is a collaboration with Felicia. She is great if you don't follow her. She's honestly just a superhuman and I've loved following her on her journey. And she did such a great job with this collection. Like this might be one of my favorites. I don't say that often. I don't, but you guys know I love a good pastel and it's also candy themed. And your girl has a huge sweet tooth. So I believe I got everything, if not almost everything launching. So we have a lot to cover today. I'm also super excited to be back to doing reviews. I know to you guys, it didn't really seem like I was taking a break, but I just had a very busy semester of dental school, passed my board exams, and then I just took a little trip and I'm also kind of losing my voice right now. So excuse my voice if it has some little cracks in it every once in a while, I'm doing my best. Anyways, if you guys like my super honest in-depth reviews, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are shopping the launch, you can always use code Catherine to support me. And if you are using my code, make sure to get your extra entries in my monthly giveaway and that is always on my website and it's always linked down below. Also all of my measurements as usual will be linked down below and I wear a size small in everything buff funny. I find them very true to size and I will be giving sizing recommendations for each piece either during the review or have my notes all the way at the end of each item. All right, let's start off with the colors. There's so many cute colors this launch. It's definitely a pastel focused launch, but there are also some neutrals in there and some fun new prints. So I'll just kind of put the colors up here because I do not have all of them, but there's, you know, black, white, ivory, the neutrals, there's double mint. I do not have double mint. Any colors that I have, I will also post color comparisons on the screen. She's bringing back rainwater blue, one of my faves. I feel like me and Felicia, we just, I feel like we have the same preferences. The pastels, she also loves rainwater blue. So this one is one of my faves and it is the same as the previous rainwater blue. So it will match all of your other ones from the blooming collection. There's also sugar plum, macaroon, which is kind of a brighter pink, donut worry, which is more of a darker tan, Nebula which looks like a navy, Lucky Charm, which is this bright true green, Key Lime Pie, kind of mint green, and Peach Rings, which is another one of my favorites of the launch. And this is in the navy terrazzo print. So this is one of the new prints inspired by some ceramic work, but it also kind of looks like sprinkles almost. And I think that this is just like a fun wearable print. But funny, I feel like does a really good job of their prints. Here is the print up close. This is also made of the new brief fabric. It's brushed inside and out and very soft to the touch. Something else to note about the terrazzo prints is that you will also have a white lining. So if you really stretch them, so if you really stretch them, you will see some white through. And this is the swirl print. So this one is the rainwater swirl print. So you can match it with the solid rainwater. You could do a printed top or you could even match it with the peach rings, which I think this is actually a super cute little combo. So the print reminds me of like this watercolor detail. And this is a print, it's not like a dye. So it is going to be lined with white. So keep in mind when you stretch it, you might get a little white showing through, but since the fabric kind of has little like splotches that are a little more white, it blends pretty well. Okay, now I'll be inserting all of the squat tests. I assume that most of these will be very squat proof because there aren't a lot of super light colors. Oftentimes I organize my Buff Bunny reviews based on fabrics, but this time I was actually going to break it up into leggings, then shorts, then sports for us, etc. So give me a comment down below which you prefer. Do you prefer to organize by fabrics or type of piece? So to get it all started, we're going to begin with the Rosa Pocket Leggings. Recently I have, you know, worn the Rosa Pocket Leggings and the Rosa Leggings. And I feel like even though I don't often need a pocket, I just prefer the Rosa Pocket Leggings because some of the extra construction that they have just makes the leggings stay up a little better. Sometimes the regular Rosa leggings can slide down a little bit, but I feel like the Rosa pocket leggings, they really stay in place. And they've always been a favorite of mine, but they just really, you know, are 
holding the test of time. Like they're, they're a good legging. So these ones have a slight dip down in the front, very subtle and some slightly curved glute seams in the back and two side pockets that can definitely fit a phone. I also feel like this print is going to be very cellulite friendly as well. Cellulite friendly, sweat friendly, prints like this are just really good at hiding any little texture details. Slightly tapered waistband, no front seam. So here are the Rosa pocket leggings. I just like to point out that the light blue in here does match rainwater blue. So you could definitely pair those together if you don't wanna do the full, you know, printed outfit. So Rosa Pocket leggings, we know these uh, nice high rise, just about as high rise as the Legacy leggings. Slight dip down in the front, it's hard to see in this pattern here. And then you have two large side pockets, no front seam, gusset not visible from the front, and the seams go above the glutes, so we do medium to high on the booty scale. Definitely cellulite and sweat proof in this print. And the length is definitely a little bit on the longer side on these ones as well. Compression on these, I'm gonna go with medium. In this print, I'm definitely not feeling like it's super tight, so maybe not quite as small as the bossy prints. I would stick true to size. If you're in between, especially in the print though, I would probably size up. But yeah, I don't think there's any need to alter your sizing based on the prints. Then another new print in a favorite legging. So legacy leggings are back. Another one of my all time favorites. I guess it's probably between the Rosa pockets and the legacy leggings that I wear the most from Buff Bunny. So legacy leggings are pretty high rise, seamless waistband, no front seam, and it has that butterfly back glute contour detailing and also made of the new refabric. All right, here are the legacy leggings, solid high rise goes pretty far above the belly button. Overall about a medium compression. This print feels more like the solid legacies and a little less compressive than the bossy print. So I don't think there's a need to size up in the swirl prints. No front seam. Um, the gusset is not very visible from the front. It's just like right there, but not very visible. No front seam. Personally, I get very minimal gathering in these. The legacy leggings have a seam down the side of the leg that splits at the bottom and the back detail is always very flattering, goes above the glutes. And to me, these are about a medium to high on the booty scale. This print is also going to be very cellulite and sweat friendly for sure. Since the waistband is very high, you may experience some rolling down, um, especially because I have a very long torso and these are even high on me. So, so just keep that in mind. The legacy leggings are definitely the most high rise out of all the leggings today. Then the siren leggings are back. So we had a pocket legging, kind of a basic legging, and then now we have a cross waist. So the siren leggings are made of the energy fabric. So it's actually just brushed on the outside and it is not brushed on the inside. Oh, actually, we will brush on the inside this time. I don't know if it used to be like that. Anyways, it feels pretty similar, but the energy fabric tends to be a little more lightweight, a little less compression, but still brushed and soft, just like the Nubri. So these are one of my favorite cross waist leggings. First of all, the waist is nice and tapered, goes up super high and it has that flattering V dip down in the front so you get a little lower tummy control. No front seam as always and it has the same butterfly back detail that the legacy leggings have. All right so here are the siren leggings. We have this nice cross waist and I love how high this cross waist goes. Some other cross waist leggings that I have are just like a little bit low for me and I just feel like this one like really snatches but keep in mind if you're a little bit shorter uh, sometimes this cross waist can roll down a little bit. Personally, it doesn't do it on me because I'm so tall. You have this V detail, it gives you a little lower tummy control. No front seam. Sometimes I feel like the energy fabric can like bunch a little bit weirdly in this region. It's not really doing it right now, but in general, I do prefer the Nubri fabric to the energy fabric. The energy fabric is a little less brushed and honestly collects a little less pet fur, but sometimes I don't feel like it hugs the body quite the same way as the Nubri. The gusset, not very visible from the front. That's totally fine to me. No seams down the side here. And you have the butterfly back detailing. Again, just gonna go with the medium to high on the booty scale. Maybe like slightly less flattering than the Lexi leggings. Um, just cause again, like I just don't feel like it's hugging quite the same way. And 
the length is a bit shorter on me than the legacy leggings so I, I felt like this one was more like a 25 inch inseam so yeah i love the flattering waistband of the sirens i just think i prefer the monarch leggings a little bit better those are the cross waist nubri leggings with the pockets compression is about a medium sizing i would say true to size but i find the siren leggings run just like a little bit smaller than some of the other ones so i would size up if in between Next we have the twilight leggings and you guys know I'm not really I'm not really a black legging person you know I just think you need like one or two pairs and then I get bored of them but I really like how these twilight leggings have this like slight sheen to them here's an up close of the fabric it looks super glittery from up close but when you bring it kind of far away you almost can't even tell and these are made of the same silhouette as the rebel leggings so they have that curved glute contour in the back a little less high rise than the rosa pocket leggings and the legacy leggings just by about an inch most of the pieces in in this launch are a certain material composition like Elysium, Nubri, or Energy, but the Dazzle leggings are actually their own little material. This is a 75% nylon, 25% spandex, and it's definitely a sleek performance, but not super shiny material. So definitely gonna be your kind of like compressive performance, not gonna collect pet fur kind of thing. Tapered waistband, seamless, no front seam, and everything is about a 26 inch inseam. I will say on the information they give us, it says everything is a 26 inch inseam, but I measured all the inseams myself, and some of them are like a little more like, you know, 25 and some of them are like 27 so i will put my own inseams that i measure on the screen at the end of each item okay guys we might have a little rebel legging conundrum with these leggings and by that i mean when the rebel leggings first launched they were the only legging like them in the collection so these twilight leggings only come in this black color I just feel like it's gonna be a popular legging. So if you guys want these leggings, I would be quick because I am expecting these along with the Lifesaver shorts are going to be some top sellers. So this fabric feels so stretchy. I actually was a little bit worried because when I first held them up, I was like, ooh, these look kind of small. These have so much stretch to them. Like it's unbelievable. Like I'm not gaping in the waist, but I still have so much stretch. And I'm getting, if they're not super compressive, um, I would say maybe like, light to medium compression. Dang, are they stretchy. Like I'm getting no restriction when I squat or anything. So I will definitely be wearing these. They're also very lightweight. So definitely a summer friendly legging. They're not super thick and hot. The rise, they're still a high rise, even though they're not quite as high as the legacy leggings. The waistband is pretty thick too. So you might get a teeny bit of lower tummy control, not a ton. I will say the gusset uh, sits a little bit further forward than the legacy leggings here, but since they're black, you really like can't see it. So it doesn't bother me personally. No seams down the side of the leg here. We just get some curved glute seams. And again, they're not quite as curved as like the glittery leggings, but still definitely medium to high on the booty scale. At least we're definitely not getting any squishing down of the glutes. So super flattering. And since these only come in black, they're definitely going to be cellulite friendly and sweat proof in about an ankle length for me. Since these are also like a sleek performance material, you're not going to get any pet fur or lint collecting on them as well. I'm not getting any excess fabric or gathering or anything. If you had to compare these to like the shimmery rebel leggings that have come out in the past, like the black shimmer, I actually prefer these. The material just feels a little bit better to me. It's, I felt like the glitter could be a teeny bit itchy. I'm not getting that itchiness on these. In terms of sizing, very true to size, but if you're in between, you could go either way, but I probably would choose the size down just because they're so stretchy. You might get a little more compression in the size down though, but that's okay because they're already such a light compression. And the Dazzle leggings. So actually the very first time I ever tried Buff Bunny Collection, I was buying their, I don't know if they were called the Dazzle leggings at that time, but I bought the white ones with the gold glitter and I tested them. I was like trying to see, cause I didn't think they were gonna be squat proof, but that's how I knew Buff Bunny Collection was gonna be good because the first pair of leggings I tried was a pair of white leggings and they were actually very squat proof. And that was like three years ago at this point. It's been three years since I've been working with Buff Bunny and actually I think that this is Felicia's first launch too. So we kind of started at the same time. Anyways, you got this kind of like ombre glitter effect. If I'm being honest, I don't love this anymore. I kind of liked it when I first tried them three years ago, but to be honest, I just felt like they got a little old fast for me. It's just not really like 2022 me at this point. Do I think they're cute? Yes, I just don't really think that they're 
they're my personal style anymore. It's kind of like the marble. I'm kind of like, you know, past it. But anyways, these are made of the Elysium fabric. So compressive, sleek performance material, seamless waistband. I will say both of these and the Twilight leggings were supposed to be in the shape of the Rebel leggings, but I definitely feel like the glute contour on the Dazzle leggings is a little more pronounced than on the Twilight leggings. So keep that in mind. So here is the silver foil in the fabric up close. Definitely gets a little bit stiff at the bottom with the silver foil detailing and it kind of cracks when you stretch it. So you can kind of see the cracking of when it stretches, but I have had a pair of the I don't know if they're called the dazzlings in the past, but I do have a pair from three years ago that I've worn them at least three times and washed them three times and my foil is still on there. So as long as you're washing them inside out, it should stay. All right, here are the leggings. These ones definitely feel like super high rise, very stretchy. It's the Elysium fabric. I would go true to size. If in between, you could honestly probably go either way. I think I have a teeny bit of gaping just at the top of the waistband here. So personally, I would probably choose the size down if in between, they could be pretty compressive. So just keep that in mind. No front seam here. Uh, the gusset seems to be sitting a little further back than the Twilight leggings. You do have that glitter all the way throughout and then very concentrated at the bottom. Just gets like a little bit tight down here and feels, I don't know, almost like you're wearing like a latex legging, you know, and it just feels a little bit a little bit warm so these are a little less summer friendly and i almost feel like the contour detailing on the back here is a little bit too pronounced it's definitely more of a like woo situation than the twilight leggings so yeah definitely still goes above the glutes very flattering on the glutes so we're gonna do medium to high booty scale i don't feel like it's squishing me down and i feel like it's hugging the right places it's almost a little bit too much on the contour to where i don't feel like it just like curves around the glutes quite as much as it could. Seamless top waistband and not feeling any restriction here, but definitely more compressive than the Twilight leggings. It's about a medium compression in like this area, but then high compression at the bottom of the legs. Next segment, we're gonna start talking about shorts. And again, there are no biker shorts launching. And I'm just kind of, I'm kind of upset. There haven't really been any bikers this whole year. And while I think that four inch inseam shorts are cute, they just, they always roll on me. And sometimes I don't wanna be picking my shorts out of my thighs, you know, during my workouts. So there's only been one pair of biker shorts this whole year, and it was in a ribbed material from the Journey Collection. And I don't really love the ribbed materials. So for me, there really haven't been any biker shorts. So I was a little bummed to see, again, three pairs of shorts launching, but they're all a short short. So I'm hoping that we have some more short lengths, at least like a five to seven inch over the summer. Anyways, we are starting out with a new pair of shorts. These are the Siren shorts. So think the Siren leggings, but in shorts form, there are a couple differences though. First of all, the Siren leggings were the energy fabric, but the Siren shorts are the Nubri fabric. Personally, I do prefer the Nubri fabric. So I was excited to see that. You also have just like a tiny bit less of a high rise, like half an inch shorter. And it's also slightly less tapered in the waistband. The cross waist leggings tend to be quite tapered in the waist just because because the cross waist can kind of like be a little forgiving, but I definitely found a larger waist measurement for the small shorts. These again, no front seam, dip down in the front and a little detailing in the back, just like the siren leggings. All right, here are the siren shorts. I just feel like the Nubri fabric is so much better. So I'm really glad that they did the Nubri instead of the energy for the shorts. So same cross waist goes about the same height as the leggings same dip down in the front and feeling maybe a teeny bit more compression in this terrazzo print um, as i kind of suspected it's pretty similar to the bossy print for me um, getting a little bit of compression in the thighs um, i wouldn't say it's cutting in too much but definitely a little bit so if you're in between i would definitely choose your larger size no front seam gusset not very visible and these are a four inch inseam short so for me personally i do expect them to roll up a little bit as most four inch inseam shorts do and again flattering on the glutes so if you like a four inch inseam short i actually really like these i just wish they were maybe a little bit longer just for my personal taste A 
Okay, and now onto what I think will be one of my top choices of the launch, the Lifesaver shorts. I am so excited about these. I do expect them to sell out very quickly. So I'm wearing the Buff Bunny Flow shorts right now. And those have always been one of my favorite looser style running shorts. I like live in these over the summer on my walks. I just love how they fit. The material is soft. It's not like a loud, noisy windbreaker material. They have an inner short lining and they're soft. These are a little bit different though and I really like the changes. So first of all, they are a little bit shorter. The outer inseam is a 1.5 inch and the inner inseam is two inches. So you are gonna see a little peekaboo of the inner short on the inside, but it matches the color perfectly. And these definitely are shorter than the flow shorts. I think for some of my shorter ladies, the flow shorts could be a little overwhelming because they were pretty long, which is refreshing to see in this style of short. But if that was too much for you, the Lifesaver shorts are going to be a little bit shorter. We have an elastic waistband with an elastic drawstring as well. There are no external pockets, but there is a pocket on the left leg on the inside. So you can actually put your phone or keys in here. And personally, I like having the pocket on the inner short lining because if you put anything in this like flowy outer fabric, it can really weigh it down. And yes, the inner lining is a short lining. So you're not gonna get any underwear lines and you're also not gonna flash anyone. And the material composition for these is a 97% polyester, 3% spandex. That is the same composition as the flow shorts. And we'll just do a quick side-by-side -side of the flow shorts versus the Lifesaver short. You're definitely to see a little bit more of the short lining and the lifesaver short kind of has that like tulip crossover detail on the side of the leg and i think just a little less coverage in general all right guys here are the lifesaver shorts and they're just as good as i imagined so i'd like to start out with just like i have not adjusted the waistband at all and it is just a teeny bit big for me but that's why we have the drawstring waist so I would still stick true to size because you can adjust the drawstring. Yeah, so now I get a much better little cinching at the waist and the shorts inside are snug, but not cutting in at all. So definitely a high rise goes above my belly button. And again, we don't have any pockets on the outside, but there is a pocket on the inside here and it has a little flap as well. And it will fit a full thumb. So it might stick out a little bit there, but I definitely like the addition of that pocket. I think this little side detail is super cute, super flowy and open, but you're not gonna flash anyone because you do have full shorts on the inside. And the inner shorts are definitely short. They're two inches. So even if they ride up a little bit, there isn't much fabric to roll. And yeah, definitely flowy, soft material. It's not gonna make that loud windbreaker noise and no pockets on the back as well. Personally, I might like these more than the flow shorts, so I really hope they keep bringing them back, and I definitely feel like this is going to be an item that sells out, but it's just so cute, and I love this color. I feel like this color is also going to be a very popular one. Okay, just wanted to do a quick update for the Lifesaver shorts. Um, I did wear these yesterday to take some photos, and then I walked around in them afterwards, and I noticed after I walked around for a while, um, the inner shorts, they rode up a little bit and I felt like at the end, like a teeny bit of my butt was popping out the bottom. It kind of stopped, you know, at a certain point, but um, definitely if you're worried about, you know, booty coverage, these might just have like a teeny bit um, of a chance of them being exposed. So again, if you're worried about coverage, I would probably stick to the flow shorts and not the Lifesaver shorts. Then we have some legacy shorts. I did not get any for this collection, but it's coming in basically all of the colors. Some swirl prints, some terrazzo prints, but just as a reference, I have an older pair of legacy shorts here. The legacy shorts are an inch shorter in the waistband than the legacy leggings. So you can see the waistband just isn't quite as tall here. They also have no front seam, four inch inseam, and the butterfly back detailing. Very similar in compression and feel to the Legacy leggings. They'll also be pretty similar to the Siren shorts made of the Newbury fabric. And if the new prints are anything like the bossy prints, they might be a little bit snug in the prints. Generally the solids, I say true to size, and the prints, you can go true to size, but if you have any doubts about thigh space or anything, I would just choose a size up to be safe. I could definitely do a medium in these shorts 
Only in the prints though. All right, next section, moving on to the sports bras. We're starting out with a sports bra that I am very excited for. All right, we have the candy wrap sports bra. To me, this is like, an amped up, more full coverage, better support version of the Buff Bunny Alpha bra, which I know is a favorite. And I have to hope that they're bringing it back at some point this year. I know you guys have been asking and they know you, can, they know you guys have been asking too. That's not a hint, I actually have no clue, but I think that they will bring it back. Anyways, this bra is super cute. I think definitely my top choice new bra of the launch. So you have this super cute like wrap detailing, very flattering, really good coverage as well. And the straps are actually a full elastic. So the body of the bra is Nubri, so super brushed, super soft, but it switches to these thick elastic straps that are also adjustable. So here is the bra made of the Nubri and then the elastic straps are gonna be very stretchy and adjustable. Removable cup pads as usual and a little crisscross back detailing. This is also elastics, not Nubri. I love it so much. I mean, this is better than the Alpha bra in my opinion. I feel just like hugged and like, so supported like it feels so good so this is the candy wrap a sports bra so first of all there's like a little seam at the bottom but there's no true elastics and it's a little bit long but i wouldn't consider it like a full long line sports bra um also has great coverage i could probably loosen my straps a little bit but it's just like a little tight in here at the moment but again the straps can be adjusted and it is the Nubri fabric so it's super soft so it's not likely to really cut in anywhere you also just get like a little bit of like a little bit of a cleavage pop here very flattering um i'm not moving like at all so this is probably the most supportive buff bunny sports bra i've tried at least at least top three most supportive more supportive than the rosa bra so i'm gonna go with the high support like i could actually run in this like i'm not moving we have the adjustable straps. Again, I could probably loosen mine up a little bit, but that'd be a big ordeal right now. And I'd have to like take off the bra. Um, and then we have the straps in the back as well. Um, this does have a possibility of cutting into your traps a little bit, just because these thick straps are going right over there. But again, you can loosen up the straps to your preference. And I think that this bra could be flattering on any one of any cup size, but definitely highly recommend for my larger cup size ladies. Um, coverage, I'm gonna go with full coverage because we have this little dip down here, but there's zero chance of me ever coming out of it. And we have full side boob coverage as well. So Monarch bras are back. So in terms of bras of the launch, the only bras that come in the Terrazzo or Swirl prints is the Monarch bra. And like we've talked about in the past, the Monarch bra underwent some changes a little less than a year ago, and it's not like my favorite anymore. I still will absolutely wear it, and I don't have a problem with how functionally it works for me in the gym. I just don't feel like it's quite as flattering as it used to be for me. So I was a little bummed to see that the only bra that came in the prints was the Monarch. I would have liked the Candy Wrap sports bra to come in all of the colors. But anyways, this is what we're working with. We got the navy terrazzo, we got the peach rings, and classic V-neck in the front. It has more coverage than it did when it first launched like two years ago and the butterfly back detail. Let's try it on. We all know the Monarch bra at this point. So it's a long line sports bra, no elastics or anything. So very seamless down here. Um, the coverage is actually pretty good. Um, there definitely is a little possibility for side boob, but I would say overall a solid medium coverage. The straps do go up and down, so they are not going to impinge on your traps at all. And then you have this beautiful strappy detail in the back. Um, even though the straps are straight up and down, I don't find myself falling or losing a strap during my workout. Like I'm really trying to lose the strap right now and it's, it's on there pretty good. Um, sizing, true to size, but definitely consider a size up, especially if you're in between. And for the prints, I also would consider a size up even more because the prints tend to be a little more compressive. The solids are a little stretchier and I find this run like a little more true to size. And in terms of support, it's actually pretty good. Um, I would say nice medium support. All right, the Maraschino sports bra is back. So this launched two summers ago, I believe. Um, and in the past, it was a slightly different material. 
The material in the past showed like a ton of sweat and honestly wasn't a huge fan of it. This one is the Elysium fabric, which I definitely prefer. So we also have the foil detailing. This is only coming in the foiled colors. And it also used to have a little seam at the bottom of the band here. It now is seamless. So there's a little stitching here to attach the bra to the like long line extension, but there is no band under there. You have a super open back on this v-neck in the front. All right, here's the maraschino bra. Definitely improved from before. Um, I have better coverage in the last ones. I, I kind of spilled into this bottom band region, but in this one, they have more space in the bust area and I definitely have less chance of falling out. So this one I'm going to give medium to high coverage actually, um, pretty good side boob coverage. I feel pretty covered over here, um, a little bit of like a dip down for some cleavage. The band here is pretty secure, but I had no problem getting the bra on and it is a seamless long line this time. I just really, I just don't love the silver glitter. Um, so for that reason alone, this bra wouldn't really be a top pick for me but just because it doesn't come in solid colors. So a little bummed, I wish it did come in solids. Yeah, here's a front, it is still very flattering. Support, I'm gonna go with medium there as well. And then the super open back, it's the really the only Buff Bunny sports bra that is so open like this. And I really like, I really like just this little strap detail here. And I find that it stays a little bit away from the traps. It still does go over them a little bit, but it's not too close to the neck. So in general, I find this to be a pretty comfortable bra. And yeah, I feel like the silver foil makes this stuff just a little less sweat friendly, but, or not really sweat friendly, uh, just like a little more warm. Then we have the Synergy Seamless Sports Bra. This one feels slightly out of place to me just because there's no seamless bottom to go with it. So I don't know if they like planned on making a seamless bottom or if this was the plan all along. I'm not really sure, but it's definitely not my favorite of the launch. So there was seamless in the last launch and that was the Reprieve fabric. It was a recycled material. This is a different material. This is just a 90% nylon, 10% spandex. It's a little more lightweight and definitely a softer seamless. The last seamless was kind of more of that like itchy marl. And here is the seamless of the new collection. So we got removable cut pads. There is no seam to separate the cut pads. Sometimes that's hard to do in a seamless fabric, a more compressive, little bra band here and it is ombre as well again this is the only piece in the collection that's ombre so I, it also kind of feels a little bit out of place to me i don't really have a problem with an ombre especially since it's going to go light to dark and then you can pair it with a solid dark legging and it also has this little wrap detail in the back and the buff bunny logo is embroidered into the fabric and this green does match the lucky charms all right, so here's the seamless sports bra. And I'm just I'm just not really loving this one. Again, it just kind of feels out of place to me. And just in general, I prefer seamless leggings to seamless sports bras. I prefer a more structured sports bra. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting a ton of shape in this one. And I don't know, I'm not loving the lines either. Uh, it is soft and comfortable, so definitely a nice lounge bra. Um, probably more of like a light support. I am getting good coverage though, full side boob coverage, um, a scooped neck, but I'm not just not getting that lift that I was getting out of some of the other bras. Sizing, I would say true to size, um, but if you're in between, I might size down just because it is very stretchy and kind of relaxed. And then here's the back. I do like the crisscross detail going on here, but the material is just not my fave. And also, um, I just feel like you can see the cut pads a bit because the seamless material is so thin. All right, next bra is the Twilight bra. Also super excited about this one. So it is that same performance, slightly glittered fabric. So this is a very similar shape to the Rosa bra, but it has a little extra coverage a little sweetheart neckline as well. It has this flattering little dip down in the front, removable cups, a seam to separate, and the straps do intertwine like the Rosa V2 bra. I will just say, a little bit of a struggle to get on, I think just because of the, the band right below the bust, but now that it's on, fits me like a glove. Like, these new bras, these new full coverage bras, I just love feeling like hugged and secure, you know? Like, she's not going anywhere. Again, like, 
high support love to see it so this is definitely more coverage than the rosa bra occasionally in the rosa bra i get a little bit of side boob we're fully covered on the sides and also a little more coverage at the top here compared to the candy wrap sports bra i'm not getting that same little cleavage boost so i feel like this is definitely a little more full coverage less like push them up a little bit. So I still feel, I still feel lifted and supported, but I'm not getting the little cleavage boost, which personally, I don't really care. Sometimes we're in the mood for cleavage, sometimes we're not. So I love the little V detail here. So subtle, but I think it's really flattering. Long line with no band or anything down here. Some seam detailing and thick straps right at the traps. They split into the crisscross detail. So it's similar to the Rosa bra in the straps, but definitely looks a little bit different to me. Um, coverage, definitely full. I also feel like this fabric is going to be very sweat wicking, sweat friendly, and just like a really great performance material. Actually a big fan of this fabric, and I'm bummed that this bra isn't coming in more colors. Hopefully they can bring this back because I'm a big fan. All right, moving on to tops and jackets. So first we have the taffy tank. So this is a beautiful full length tank. I believe it's made of the Nimbus fabric. So super soft, stretchy and lightweight. So even though it's a full length tank, it's not gonna like overheat you. So very long in the front and then you have this little twist tie back detail and it'll also show off your sports bra on the back. All right, here's the tank. You guys wanted to know how it was with the candy wrap sports bra underneath. So that is the bra I have underneath it right now. You might see just like a couple little, little wrinkles but I don't actually think it's very bad, especially since this is a flowy tank to begin with. So first of all, super long. It's going to go over your hips and even cover your butt a little bit. And it's just kind of like a drapey, relaxed fit. So I would go with your normal size if you want it a little more relaxed, like mine is the only place it's snug is in the bust. You could size up, but you could even size down if you want more of like a slimming fit. So I definitely think sizing is very flexible. Um, I am getting just like maybe a little bit of flaring in these regions right here. Um, might just be because it is snug on the bust region. That doesn't really bother me per se. Just wanted to point it out because, because it's not perfectly snug up here. There are a couple loose areas. Falls away from the armpits a little bit, which is good. It's not like really cutting in there. Lightweight, and then you have the back detail as well. So you can kind of see my candy wrap sports bra underneath it here. And you're really gonna see most of it in this cutout region right there. So definitely think about which sports bra you're wearing. But yeah, I think this is a nice little layering piece. I love when they have their full length tanks. I often wear them just to like throw on to and from the gym. Synergy seamless top. So this is the only other seamless piece in the collection and I actually do love a seamless top. In the spring, in the fall, when I go on my walks outside, I love to have a long sleeve seamless. I just love to like protect my arms from the sun and just like have a little layer. So we have these seamless tops. This is made of 88% nylon, 8% spandex, 4% polyester. So it's also like a little line detailing. Here's the material has these little lines and it's long sleeve, thumb holes, and it has this cutout in the back which I like the cutout, but then you really have to think about what bra you're wearing underneath, which sometimes when I go on my walks, I'm not really not really thinking about that. But it's also a full length, so the second full length tank. All right, here's the seamless long sleeve. So again, all of the full length tops so far in this launch have been going like to like my mid hip glute area. So you definitely get coverage all the way down to the bottom. It's not like a semi-cropped full length. So this was very snug. It's a little snug for me in the arms. Um, so I would suggest a size up if you're in between or just unsure, but I definitely feel like it's a little snug for me in the bust in the arm area. So I'm okay in this size small because it's kind of like snug all around, but just keep in mind it might be like a little tight in the arms. I think you could definitely choose a size up if you're unsure. Here's an up close of the thumb holes. It has like a little lining around here. And then again, the fabric has like some little dots underneath the arm and it's striped overall. Um, like a teeny bit of itchiness especially in the very uh, tight sections. Um, it's also kind of like a more open neck. You can definitely see a crisscross sports bra underneath. And here's the back, it's got that big opening. The 
the rainforest crop is back and what seemed like such like a simple little top turned out to be one of like my most worn buff bunny tops and I didn't get any in my package. So I think I'm gonna order myself the ivory or black one just because it's such a perfect layering piece. This top is also made of the Nimbus fabric. It kind of hits right to the top of your legging waistband super flowy and lightweight has a cutout in the back you can also wear it in the front but i don't really think it looks like great worn in the front i think it's best to just wear the cutout in the back and i've worn and washed my rainforest crop a lot so the first two times that i wore and washed it i hung it to dry and it was totally fine nothing changed it was the same length and then I accidentally dried it one time and it definitely shrank. So it became shorter. So I would just caution you, do not dry. I mean, I always think do not dry any of your activewear because that's how it's gonna last the longest, but definitely do not dry your rainforest crop if you don't want it to shorten. It's still wearable for me, but not quite as long as before. This is a relaxed fit, so there's no need to size up, but you can if you want it like super oversized. And the only jacket of the collection is the sugar coat, first of all the name so cute second of all like catch me living in this like this color oh, so cute and i love the mock neck okay anyways this is supposed to be kind of inspired by the phantom jacket from the rebel collection i never got to try that one but it is a little bit different so i thought it was newbery but it's actually made of a 75 percent nylon 25 percent spandex it is slightly brushed though here's the fabric up close just a very fine brushing it's got this beautiful mock neck detail full zip all the way down also has zippered side pockets. If the side pockets don't have zippers, I don't want it. I don't trust it. I can't put anything in the side pocket if it's not zipped because I have trust issues about my belongings. We also have this little overlapping thumb hole detail, super cute. And then we really were going for the cutout back detail in this collection, which I wish there was maybe like a little bit less of the cutout back details, but um, we'll, we'll have to see. It just depends on what I layer underneath this, but it has this beautiful kind of overlapped detail and this is going to be a full length jacket as well. Okay guys, here is the sugar coat and I just love it. So first of all, here it is open. We have the mock collar detail. I prefer this to a hood because I really just don't wear hoods very much. Just wanted to show the little overlap detail of the thumb holes. Sometimes they just have little cutout thumb holes. I think this is like a little more elevated. The sleeves are definitely long enough for me. We have some just like inner pockets that you can hide stuff in there and then the outer zip pocket I'll show in a second. So just wanted to show open first and let's zip it up. So this is a size small. You can definitely size up if you prefer a more relaxed fit, but this is how it is in my normal buff bunny top and bra size. So snug in the bust region, but I'm not too tight where I feel like I really need to size up. I had no problem zipping it. And sometimes I just get like a teeny bit of space at the bottom here, but it just kind of leaves room for hips and glutes. And it does cover the glutes a little bit. It's not cropped at all. So I really like this length. And here are the zip pockets. They're like a hidden zipper, which I think is really nice. And they're actually very spacious in there. Could definitely fit a phone and a couple things. A little seam detailing here. It's a decently thick fabric, probably about as thick as the Nubri, but in the like body here, because you have the pockets and everything, it's a little bit thicker than in the sleeves. And then we have the back. So I'm wearing the candy wrap bra underneath, so you can kind of see it peeking through a little bit. So just keep in mind, whatever bra you wear will probably peek through. And this also makes it, I feel like a little less like warm. So if you're planning to wear this into like the fall or if it's cold where you are, you might get a little breeze, a little breeze back there. And here's the mock neck detail on me. It's not too tight, got a little bit of space. Yeah, I think this is definitely a top buff bunny jacket for me. Now on to loungewear. I am super excited about this little combo right here. So first the confection crop, and this is made of the Nimbus fabric. And when I first saw this piece, I was kind of like, eh, you know, kind of boring, not loving that, you know, it's just like a little tank that I have to wear something underneath. But I didn't realize that it actually has a built-in shelf lining. So it's a perfect little lounge piece that you don't have to wear a bra underneath. 
Although I will say it is just a little layer of fabric here. There are no cut pads or anything. So it's definitely not going to be like super supportive, but definitely good for lounging at home. You don't have to wear a bra underneath. It has this little like kind of overlapped tulip detailing, kind of like the lifesaver shorts. And it's just like a super cute little lounge piece and goes really well with the next pants, but let's try this on first. All right, here's the top. And I think this is so fun. Very like lightweight and flowy. So you still have like a full length tank. I mean, it is slightly cropped, like not like a full, full length, but because of the high rise of the pants, you're not gonna be showing any skin, even when raising your arms. But you have this kind of breathable section at the side, which makes it nice and, I don't know, cooling, so it's not like too hot, especially as we're leading into summer. Full coverage tank on the top, got like pretty thick straps, goes up pretty high and goes into the armpit area, so you're not gonna have like a ton of side boob or anything. You can kind of see the bra um, below it at the side and again it's just like a one layer bra situation so support is very light it's really just kind of holding the girls where they need to be making sure you don't expose anything because of this little cut here but yeah you're still gonna get some nippage and everything there's no cut pads so i wouldn't call it truly supportive but this is not a gym tank this is a lounge tank and here it is in the back another full coverage and just a very soft material. It would have been cute to have like a little lounge short to go with this as well as a pant. But yeah, I feel like this is a unique thing that Buff Bunny has not done before. All right, the snack pants. So I was also super excited about these. I talked about in my recent Skims review that I liked the wide straight leg pant options that they had, just because sometimes I don't like to have like that tight jogger ankle going on. And we have a straight leg pant here made of the Nimbus fabric. So it's going to be very soft, lightweight, stretchy, flowy. We have a little elastic waistband here with a drawstring two little front pockets, full straight leg. My only concern with this is that it is a 28 inch inseam and it only comes in one length. For joggers, I feel like length can be a little bit flexible. I don't mind if I'm wearing a size that is a little too short for me because you just show a little bit of ankle, but I don't like when my loose pants like this are short because I feel like it looks, they look like floods and I just am a little turned off by that look. So, so kind of wish they came out with maybe two lengths of these, but we'll see how it works for me. Okay, I had a feeling. These are gonna be too short on me, and they are. I'm still gonna wear them because they're comfy, but I just feel like they look stupid when they're too short. And I don't know why, I don't know why we can't come out with two, two lengths of things, especially something like this, where, I mean, it doesn't look like too bad, you know what I mean? Like, you can see a little too much of my ankle, and I just prefer a longer pant if it's going to be this kind of loose style. So let me tuck up the shirt for a second. So, love the material. Nimbus fabric, so it's super stretchy, just like a nice lightweight, still appropriate like for the summer type pant, just cause it's not like too warm. We got some pretty spacious pockets here. Nice high rise um, without tying the waistband. I have a little bit of space here. So um, for sizing, I think it's definitely a relaxed fit. So you could probably size down if in between, but if you like your pants, you know, nice and spacious, definitely choose the size up. Super high rise on the pants, which can be hard to find in some lounge pants. Um, no pockets or anything in the back. It's just plain. The fabric is pretty thin, so you know, you'll see underwear lines and stuff, but this is meant to be a lounge pant, so who cares? Yeah, they're not like the flowiest of the flowy pants. I feel like partially because they're just like a little bit short on me. I love that they're finally coming out with a straight leg pant. And keep in mind, I'm five foot nine. So if you are, I would say like five seven, and below, these will probably be a good length on you. Obviously, if you are short, they're gonna be very long, but you know, you can always get them hemmed, but I can't add length. You can only make things shorter. So yeah, I wish these were perfect for me. I absolutely love the style and they're so soft and comfy, definitely like a PJ set vibe, but an extra length would have just taken it to another level. And lastly, the untamed hoodie and joggers are back. Those are just a thick plush fleece sweatpant and jogger set. I find it very true to size. You can size up for a relaxed fit. Keep in mind with the joggers though, I have sized up in the joggers in the past and I personally got a lot of bagginess in the waist. It just looked a little bit funny when I tried to tie the drawstrings, especially since it's an internal drawstring. So 
just keep that in mind. The sizing is also the same as the Mad Scientist collection, so sizing has not changed since then. And it's also 100% cotton. The first launch, I believe, was a cotton polyester, but this was all cotton. And they're only coming in the rainwater blue. And then last but not least, we got little scrunchies. All right, guys, that's it for the launch. Make sure to go check out my Instagram. I will be hosting a giveaway there as usual. And again, if you're shopping the launch on Saturday, May 14th, make sure to use support code Catherine if this video helped you out. And as always, leave your comments down below and feel free to send me an Instagram DM. Try to get your questions in by Thursday so I have time to answer them. And if you send me a DM and I'm not replying to it, try to comment on this video because it's a lot easier for me to see YouTube comments because my Instagram app has been broken for literally two years now. Like, like I have to do like the web browser to see my DM request. Then sometimes I send a reply and it doesn't actually send. It's like a really great, it's a really great thing that Instagram does to reward me for my loyalty to the platform. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.